I'm speaking with Keith Weed uh, from Unilever, and he's uh, consented to give us just a few minutes of his time so that we can talk about sustainability, mobile, and the chaos overtaking the marketing industry. Uh, sustainability has been a big focus for Unilever recently, and you're speaking about it at the Palais today. Can you tell us why sustainability presents such an opportunity for brands and how brands can influence consumer behavior? Well, I think in the end of the day, it's, it's an opportunity for the world. Um, you know, we, we're already in uh, a world where we're uh, living off one and a half planets, going to WWF. We've got another two billion people uh, joining this world. We need to think differently. We need to come up with different business models. We need to decouple uh, growth uh, from uh, negative environmental and social impact. So. Uh, three years ago we started with the Unilever Sustainable Living Plan and we've defined targets that we want by 2020, for instance, to have all our agricultural raw materials sourced sustainably. And right now you can't do that. Uh, we're the biggest tea company in the world, we're the biggest ice cream company in the world, there just isn't enough sustainable uh, stuff out there. But if we're going to be around in another 100 years, as we've already been around for more than 100 years, uh, we're going to have to find different ways uh, of sourcing our products. So it's a real challenge for us, it's a challenge we're taking on, uh, and at the same time it's a challenge that we want to try and engage lots of people in. So even if we achieve all our goals, uh, if other companies don't get on, get on this as well, uh, the world will still be in uh, a tough place. Is it the kind of thing that can, companies are, are going to end up driving, or is it the kind of thing that consumers are going to have to pull from companies in order to make real change in the world? Well, it's a really good question. So right now, um, most of the emphasis is, is on the supply side. It's, um, it's about sustainable sourcing, it's about zero net deforestation, it's about recycling, it's about reducing waste. There isn't enough demand side pull, and if people were saying, do you know what, we need brands and uh, companies that take this seriously, then very quickly the industry would change, and, and the billions of us in this world would actually force industry and governments uh, to react. So we need to stimulate uh, the demand side. In fact, the Unilever Project Sunlight, which in fact Ogilvy uh, work on, uh, is, is an example of exactly that. So we've launched across five countries right now. Uh, please uh, do go and have a look at Unilever Project Sunlight, um, and, and and join in. We've, uh, we've now got over 100 million uh, acts of sunlight and we want to build this. And we want to basically use the power of the internet to, to raise awareness, but in a positive sense. I'm not interested in the shock and awe the world's going to end because that frightens people away. Uh, ultimately, people want to go away and eat ice cream and drink tea. Uh, what I do want people to do, though, is engage uh, in a positive way we can have a brighter future. Uh, and there's never been such a good time to create that brighter future if we all engage in it. What about the chaos that's overtaking the marketing industry right now? You've mentioned it as an opportunity. Can you expand on that a little bit for us? Well, I think we're about to go through even more chaos. So the first big uh, hit was the internet that we know so well. But let's face it, it's really from, from a consumer goods business and an advertising business, this is the last five years where it's all happened. Um, and it's happened at a huge scale. And what we're about to do now, I think, is go through another great um, a step. And that's going to be around mobile, social, and data. Uh, and it's an extraordinary challenge. Uh, and yet to play out, uh, but extraordinary challenge because uh, trying to then engage and indeed uh, and build campaigns across the world in this incredibly chaotic and complex world uh, is very challenging. And uh, indeed, we're stepping up to that along with our agency and our, uh, our other partners. Um, but it's never been such an exciting time to be in marketing and advertising. Can I ask you just a question about mobile in particular? Um, you mentioned that mobile is one of those great opportunities, but how does mobile and a, and a large consumer goods company fit together. Um, I know that there's things like the recipe tweet that's coming out of Brazil, but can you give us a little bit more insight into how that will work? Well, I mean, mobile is incredibly exciting. At the end of the day, it's a very personal thing. You have it in your pocket, you take it everywhere. You don't take your TV everywhere. <laughs> it's people's remote control for their life. It connects the virtual and the real world together. Um, or I can think of thousands of great examples, but let me give you one. Mm -hmm. uh, in India, um, and I was just talking about it earlier, uh, in media dark areas. So these are areas where there's no TV, uh, there's no radio, and life's quite tough because you don't have much entertainment. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've been to villages where they have no sanitation, uh, openly defecating, they have uh, no uh, drinking water uh, you know, piped into their, their houses or anything. Uh, they have electricity for two hours a day. But virtually every house had a mobile phone. Uh, so, you know, and I was showing around houses with the light of a mobile phone. So what we did is we basically set up our own radio station. Uh, we used a thing called a missed call, so they phone us and then hang up. We now have their number. We phone them back, we give them 15 minutes worth of free entertainment. So you can either hear Bollywood stars uh, singing uh, songs or, or telling jokes. Uh, and then within that, uh, you then uh, have interspersed laundry ads, shampoo ads, etc. 
Now this is a real value exchange. You know, people love this stuff because if you've never had TV and radio, and now through your mobile phone you have entertainment, it's incredibly engaging. We're now the largest uh, uh, channel in this in this test area, media channel in this test area, and we're looking to expand it. That's a fascinating future for the brand. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time uh, today, and uh, I wish you the best of luck in your talk at the Palais. Thank you very much. Cheerio. See you.